Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome. I'm Brian Bonner, uh, Chief Editor of the Kiev Post. With me is Alona Nemrzitska, Commercial Director. We are coming to you live from the Kiev Post studio in the Kador building in Kiev. And we're very proud and excited to start the fifth annual Top 30 Under 30 Awards. Since 2016, we have been honoring, including this year's winners, 150 of Ukraine's best young Ukrainians in all walks of life. And we know from past experience that the previous winners are contributing a lot to the betterment of Ukraine. And uh, we expect this year's uh, crop of winners to be no different at all. They'll be on the stage soon, but if you want to learn more about them, check out today's Keep Post and also check out uh, the booklet that we have, which profiles all of them. So without further ado, I will turn it over to Alona. Yeah, I will. Uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you for introduction. Uh, I will tell you briefly about how we selected top 30 under 30 this year. Around 30 people uh, from uh, previous years uh, were participating in the selection process. We gathered around 250 applicants and nominations from our audience. And then our partner, um, uh, International Renaissance Fund, uh, colleague, Deputy Chief, uh, Deputy Chief Executive Officer Inna Pidluska, helped us to select the winners. Uh, the final decision was made by the editorial team of the Kyiv Post, but thank you all for participating in this uh, selection process. And now we'll turn it over to uh, Alexander Sushko, Executive Director of the International Renaissance Foundation, without whose support this would not be possible. And some of the key numbers to know about the International Renaissance Foundation has been active 30 years given, I believe, more than $310 million to over 10,000 projects in Ukraine. So they've been a big player in developing Ukraine and making this a better nation. So, Alexander. Uh, hello, uh, Brian. Hi, everybody. That's a really great pleasure for our foundation to join the project, which is already five years old and which has a remarkable reputation. I may say on the behalf of the foundation, which is this year no longer under 30, so we are already 30 this year, and this, uh, that was one of the reasons why we decided uh, to, to join the project, as we are, we are adult enough to judge uh, who are uh, those who are under 30. Under 30. And uh, certainly the, the, there were various reasons for us to join the project to join this initiative. And one of the reasons then when we uh, looked at through the list of those um, uh, winners of this competition, we have identified that the most of them were uh, who were granted this nomination in, uh, in five years ago, three years ago. We see that uh, most of them are still on the rise still on the growing trajectory of their careers, of their uh, work. And that is a signal of that the, the prize uh, uh, was given to right winners because really they not, so the, this, this uh, victory for them was not at the top. They have not stopped uh, after, after uh, getting this, top of the mountain, but they are continuing to, to be and to work. Mo many of them had contributed even, even in the larger uh, scale after they received this prize. So we hope that this, uh, this is an initiative which gives, uh, which, which fuels uh, young professionals uh, civil uh, civil society activists, uh, people from various spheres of life, to make our our life better. And I see, and I I'm sure that those thirty which will be uh, disclosed today, uh, so they will be another portions of those who will who will make uh, Ukraine better this year, next year, and many, many years ahead. So we are happy to be with you this evening and 
we fully join uh, join this spirit of of uh, admiration of those new generation people of Ukraine who really uh, deserve uh, uh, this prize, but also they deserve uh, future victories, which I am sure will follow today's nomination. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Kyiv Post, for this initiative. And let's go ahead. Alexander, uh, for the kind words and the support and all the good work the International Renaissance Foundation has been doing, will be doing in Ukraine. So okay. what do you say? Let's enjoy the I show and let's get yeah, started. Let's get started. So I'm ready to announce you the first winner. Yeah, we will, uh, we will announce uh, our winners in alphabetical order. And the first one is Valery Ananyev. Okay, Valery is a veteran of the war in eastern Ukraine. During his service, he started a YouTube blog, which he now runs as an educational project. He authored a book about the war in which he tried to construct the real atmosphere of the battlefield. Uh, Valery is uh, not here with us today, uh, but uh, we will give him an award. Uh, so, and we are ready to uh, move. And uh, the next winner is Anastasia Apetic. Anastasia Apetic is a lawyer uh, teaching Ukrainian judges, police officers and children about the importance of digital security and data protection. She has created the first course on digital rights and security for children, teaching kids about the importance of strong passwords, two-factor identification, and what uh, people need to know about how to store things online. Anastasia. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, you can go right here. Thank you. It's a great honor to stay here. So I promote and implement social projects in the field of data rights and security. And uh, I um, strongly believe that um, in our country will be a full guarantee uh, data rights. Uh, also, I do my best that uh, in Ukrainian society uh, will be protected uh, data rights, digital rights and information rights and security. And thank you to uh, all people uh, who work with me. It's uh, Expert Center for Human Rights and uh, my uh, lovely organization Minz Min. Thank you. Anastasia, the award is yours. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And please don't leave the stage. Uh, we would like to invite uh, a partner of our uh, awards ceremony, a representative of UNICEF in Ukraine, uh, Lota Salvander. And uh, yeah, she will... She has a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to take this off. Uh, so, uh, congratulations. And we want to present you with the award as UNICEF Youth Changemaker, uh, a special Thank extra you. award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> A two award night. It's a not bad evening. No. Okay. Thank well you. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Uh, to the next winner. Uh, so uh, we are ready to um, to announce our next winner, and this is. Uh, uh, Jana Shemaeva. Uh, Jana Shemaeva. She's uh, uh, famous by her name like Jerry Hale. It's nearly impossible to live in Ukraine and never hear a song by Jerry Hale. Those um, um, uh, those real name is Jana Shemaeva. Starting by publishing covers. Um, uh, for famous songs on YouTube, she grew into a nationally famous performer thanks to relatable and catchy hits. Aside, aside from her uh, own singing career, she writes songs for Ukrainian performers. Please, welcome on the Good stage. Evening. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a great, great honor to stand here and uh, to be um, 
to be introduced to uh, before such people. And uh, I want to say that I know your paper mm. for a long time. Um, I've been reading it. And um, the thing that I want to say with my, um, with, uh, with what I do for life is just don't be afraid of like self-mocking, you know, don't be afraid of being ironical about yourself. No? Thank you. Thank you. Jerry? Hey. <laughs> Thank you, you very much. Worried. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? So the next winner is Yevhen Bohodaiko. Yevhen had a dream of matching the achievements of legendary U.S. swimmer Michael Phelps, who won eight medals in one Olympics. He ended up outperforming Phelps. In the 2016 Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro, Yevgen claimed nine medals. And Yevgen is not here tonight? Yeah. So we'll go on. We go on and we will, of course, uh, pass the award to Yevgen. Uh, next winner is uh, Lilia Borovets. Uh, Lilia Borovets is a co-founder of ProSvit, an NGO that helps improve the way Ukraine's education system works from introducing innovative programs uh, for Ukrainian teachers and principals to making schools a better place. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Creative Post, and everybody who nominated and chose me for being among those 30 inspiring young people in Ukraine who are bringing change. That's a huge recognition for the work that Prosvit is doing in Ukraine. And as the U.S. celebrates now Thanksgiving week, it's a good reminder for us to be grateful and to appreciate each other and recognize even the smallest effort that brings change. Thank you so much. Have a happy celebration. Thank you. And we go on. And the, ne the next winner is Anna Chernyavska. Anna runs one of the first anti-bullying organizations in Ukraine. The organization allows kids to file a complaint about attacks from peers, helps children understand their strengths, and provides support to those in crisis. The program also helps teachers who suffer from bullying. And she's our second double award winner. So, Anna, please come. Oh, you need to come here. And we would like to invite to invite uh, Lota to the stage. Uh, it's, uh, I can't believe that I stay here, there, uh, but uh, if you don't mind, uh, I continue my speech in Ukrainian, but uh, I'm Врешті решт я вчителька української мови. <laughs> Тому вдячна всім, хто причетний до цієї номінації. Дякую учням, які повірили і номінували мене. Дякую усім, хто підтримував, вірить і вірив. Дякую. Анна, the award is yours. Thank you. And Anna, uh, UNICEF also wanted to give you an award uh, as a UNICEF youth changer. Congratulations to what you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Two awards, two hands. All right. <laughs> <laughs> next. The next winner is Halina Chizik. Halina Chizik is a lawyer and anti-corruption activist. She has dedicated the last five years of her life to combating and preventing corruption in Ukraine's judicial system. She believes that while the Ukrainian judici judiciary hasn't changed much since the Euromaidan revolution, involving independent experts from the public will, have, will help break the vicarious circle Vicious and circle. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brian. <laughs> You're trying to help. <laughs> and she's got a lot of work to do. Ahead of her to do yeah, that. in this way, we all know that it's a, a lot of work. Please, Helena, come to the stage. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, it is uh, a great honor and pleasure today to join this uh, community of so ambitious, talented and amazing Ukrainians. And um, 
For me, this award is a recognition of uh, these titanic uh, efforts that are made on a daily basis by uh, my colleagues uh, who are aimed at ensuring fair uh, justice and zero corruption justice in Ukraine. And I am extremely thankful to you guys, to Kyiv Post team, for recognizing these efforts and the importance uh, of, uh, of this fight for fair justice. Uh, I am so thankful that uh, I am not the first one standing here on this scene and uh, holding this award, uh, which is a recognition of the importance of this uh, fight for fair justice. Um, it happened that uh, zero corruption judiciary uh, became my mission, so thank you very much for this uh, inspiration to, to move forward to achieve this very ambitious, I agree, very ambitious goal. And Ukraine is much better with the anti-corruption action center, so keep up the good work and thank, thank you. you very much. And thank all you. my colleagues, we are doing this together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Helena. And uh, we are moving forward, and the next winner is uh, Timur Fatkulin. Timur, at the age of 11, saw an aerobatic plane for the first time, found it mesmerizing. Years later, he won the title of world champion in aerobatics. He dreams of making aerobatics more accessible, more popular in Ukraine. Timur, here you are. Congratulations on your award. Stand in the center. me and I'm extremely thankful for paying attention that Kiev Post paid attention to extreme sports and I would like to say that we are aviation country and when you hear Ukraine you must know that we have the heaviest plane ever built in the world the, the loop is called in the name of Ukrainian guy it's the loop of Nesterova loop and I'm really grateful for that, mm, that we now can explore more and mm, get attraction from young people. Thank you. Thank you, Timur. Timur. Yeah, as you said that uh, Kyiv Post is uh, mm, uh, focusing on extreme sports, we are focusing on everything. Yes, Brian, on corruption, on, on news, on sports. Your full service newspaper. Yeah, full service <laughs> newspaper. Yeah, so please follow Thank us so and stay with us. And have many happy hours flying safely. Next, we have... So, uh, the next winner is uh, Valeria Huzema. Uh, Valeria Huzema had a bumpy start of, on her path to her own jewelry brand. When she created her first collection, uh, all the pieces were stolen. But uh, just four years later, her brand, uh, Guzema Fine Jewelry, is among the best known in Ukraine. And everyone from Ukraine's, everyone starting from Ukraine's first lady, Olena uh, Zelenska, to Hollywood star, uh, Kim Katral wears her jewelry. Is Valeria here? Valeria. Okay, let's go to the next. To the next. Uh, so next one is Olena Herasimyuk. Olena is a poet and former military medic who spent five years documenting the stories of Ukrainians who perished in Soviet gulags, casting a light on a chapter of Ukrainian history that many forget or choose to ignore. This year, Ukraine awarded her the medal for saving lives. Elena, Elena. You're here. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Я буду говорити українською. Дякую щиро за цю прекрасну нагороду. Я рада стояти в одному ряду з такими прекрасними людьми, як, наприклад, моя комбат Яна Зінкевич, яка теж отримала цю відзнаку з моїми посестрами, знайомими і колегами. Це велика честь. І я дуже рада, що власне можу сподіватися на свої сили і розуміти, що тепер я на новому рівні, що свідчить ця ознака. Дякую вам дуже всім. Thank you. Thank you, Olena. Congratulations. Is Valeria here? No? Not yet. Valeria, okay, let's move on. We are moving on, and uh, the next winner is Sashko Горонді. 
I think everybody knows uh, brand Horondi. Uh, Sashko Horondi used to be homeless, but then he found uh, about his uh, about um, Amua's international charity community. He joined it and learned how to repair furniture and sew. Uh, and this activity led his led to his own fashion company. And now everybody can. I, I mean, I know. I know the brand. I'm, I'm sure many people know your brand. Please, Sashko, come to the stage and get this award. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. For me, it's a big part and a very special award. I don't believe that I will get it, and I don't understand why. And I want to thank everyone who supported me all this time. And thank you for the post. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sashko. And the next winner is Alisa Kolpakchi. Alisa is a para Paralympics para triathlon athlete. Her talent revealed itself in 2015. She was so promising that her coaches began preparing her to join the national team at the 2016 Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro. Alisa took part and came in sixth, a result she is very proud of. Now she aims to win a medal at the next Paralympics in Tokyo, Japan, in 2021. Alisa is not here with us today and uh, we will give her an award. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, so our next winner is Artyom Kopanyev. Artyom Kopanyev is a top executive at one of the biggest tech firms in Ukraine, Genesis, at just 24 years old. He is tasked with the overseeing the day-to-day -day administrative and operational functions at the company. After work, Kampanya teaches Parkinson's disease patients to dance, a therapy that helps fight effects of the disease. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great, great uh, pleasure and honor for me uh, to be here tonight, to be included in this list. Thank you very much. It was not just included, it was selected. So thank you. The for best the, for of the, the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Artyom. And uh, well-deserved. Keep on doing what you are doing. This is very impressive. I mean, the in the, in the what you are doing uh, is, is it's outstanding. I'm trying trying my best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Artyom. And we move forward. So the next winner is Roman Kravets. We have a journalist we, you, here. You will read it, definitely. Roman is a journalist who's interviewed most of the Ukrainian political establishment for Ukrainsky Pravda one of the country's most trusted and respected media, of course. Where other journalists struggle to get a hold of top officials and behind the scenes players, he gets his way to exclusives. He was one of the first interview, uh, one of the first journalists to interview Volodymyr Zelensky after he announced that he would run for president. He was also the first to question notorious billionaire Igor Kolomoisky upon his return after two years of self-imposed exile in 2019. Say hello to Roman, who's got a great career ahead of him. Thanks. Come on come to the on, stage, Roman. Come to the stage, Congratulations. Roman. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great honor. Thank you. you can Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank. Thank you very much. If you can, I can speak Ukrainian. I very much for this victory. It was very pleasant. I saw how they were awarded, let's say, my predecessors. And I divided for myself two groups of people who, in fact, Ну, як вони взагалі будували свої виступи, так? І одна частина говорила дуже такі важливі речі, дуже хороші промови у них були, а інша там хтось відмовлявся від нагород і казав, що тут не такі організатори. Тому я просто сьогодні скажу дякую всім людям, які разом зі мною, тому що ця нагорода не Романа Кравця, а насправді дуже великої команди людей, моєї сім'ї, української правди. І величезне-величезне дякую, звісно, вам, що ви мене запросили. Дякуємо вам. Дякуємо. Thank you, Roman. We're halfway Thank you. through, almost. Yeah, halfway, actually. Uh, We're moving along. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and uh, we are ready to announce our next winner. And uh, this is Yulia Levchenko. Uh, Yulia, Yulia Levchenko is one of the most promising athletes in Ukraine. Uh, she got her first big victory at 16 when she won a gold medal in high jumps at the youth Olympic Games. Just three years later, Levchenko was among the top adult athletes when she was won a silver 
uh, medal in 2017 at the World Championship. Yulia. Yulia, uh, Yulia is, is not here today. Okay. So we will, we will give her an award. And our next winner is Antonio Lukic. With his feature film debut, Antonio made something of a phenomenon in Ukrainian cinema, a profitable comedy loved by both the general public and the more sophisticated viewers. My Thoughts Are Silent premiered in, in 2019, winning awards at film festivals in the Czech Republic, Odessa, and Minsk, and was later screened in Ukraine's cinemas, eventually becoming profitable, a very rare achievement for a Ukrainian movie. Antonio, congratulations. Thank you. Antonio, the award is yours. Yeah, thank you very much. It was my uh, dream since childhood. When I was a kid, <laughs> I read Kiev Post and like uh, I dream about this. Really? So, yeah, oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming tonight. And our uh, next winner is Anastasia Makarenko. Uh, trying to share her passion for bicycles with the viewer public, Anastasia Makarenka became the head, head of inter Ukrainian non-profit Youth Cycle, and now she is trying to make the world a more bicycle-friendly place. Her Youth Cycle promotes safe cycling and supports building facilities for bikes in Ukraine, which, in Ukraine, which the country still lacks. By the way, you definitely needed. So definitely Anastasia, needed. Anastasia, are you here? No, let's move on. Um, okay, we are moving uh, forward. I think I saw Anastasia today. She is. Uh, yes, yes, I come. We'll <laughs> uh, and the next winner is Roman Mohilny. This Ukrainian tech entrepreneur and two of his friends developed a technology that blurs the distinction between fiction and reality. Called Reface, their mobile application allows users to try on the faces of celebrities and videos and make them look like their own. The app has gone viral with over 60 million people downloading Reface. Among them are stars like Snoop Dogg, Justin Bieber, uh, Millie Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Elon Musk. So welcome to the stage, Roman. Uh, hello everyone, yeah, thank you very much for this uh, great award. Um, yeah, I actually would like to mention that uh, we're actually a, a young company with uh, young founders, so it's also uh, Yaroslav and Denise uh, who are under 30, so I guess uh, it's uh, an award for all of us, for all three of us. Uh, it's time to say thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the team because, uh, yeah, guys, without you, it wouldn't have happened at all. And uh, I also would like to thank my co-founders. And yeah, everyone who believed in us from the very beginning, we started doing it because there were a lot of people who didn't, but we actually proved them wrong. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day. Roman, the award is yours, and yesterday at the office we were having fun uh, with your application, Reface, <laughs> and it was, it was really fun. Thank so, you thank, you. thank you, thank <laughs> you. Um, uh, yeah, so... Um, we're going back. We are going back. Okay. We are not moving forward now. We are going back, and uh, we have Valeria Guzema. Is we actu actually we represented Valeria already. So please, Valeria, come to the stage. You're famous now. Yeah. <laughs> come to the stage. Congratulations. Here is your award. Wow. Thank you. That's quite beautiful. <laughs> um, actually, thank you so much for having me here tonight. That's a big honor to be one of the third under thirty. And <laughs> good luck. I'm still <laughs> under thirty. <laughs> And I just want to say that I'm very proud of Ukrainian new talent people. Young generation is so strong and so powerful. I believe that in next generation, in next 10 years, such people will create a huge, strong, powerful country. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next. 
So, uh, forward next or backwards? One. No, we are moving forward now. Forward we are now. going from Alone the. Uh, so, uh, and um, uh, our uh, winner is uh, Alena Misko. Alena Misko is good at crunching numbers. She is so skilled at the, uh, that some of the firms turn to, into profitable enterprises when they let Misko sort out their finances. Her company, Fuel Finance, has worked with at least 120 companies over the three years of its existence, including Schneider, Macpo, Petcube, and Reface. Yeah, so we are happy to see that uh, our we, we winners, they cooperate. <laughs> and we will need... Alena, please come to the stage. Congratulations. Thank you. First of all, really proud to be here. And uh, maybe first my words to be about to say thank you for my team. First of all, because um, team, it's we create all this together. And um, now we understand that finance, finance and we make uh, we can make it sexy and mm. uh, we also understand that we can improve not only GDP of this country but all of all countries <laughs> over the world so I'm really proud I was surprised but I think it's very meaningful and um, very huge impact these people who in this list can make in this country and I'm really proud to be among them and um, I will be bilingual today. So, I definitely want to thank all my close friends, parents, and all my people who support me on this journey, because I think without them, without the fact that they have done for my development and what they have done for all the people around me, who help all the businesses that are doing the real thing, and don't sleep, and they work a lot, but they put a lot of work for the sake of our country to move to another level. And I want to thank all those people who are with me, who support me, who support me every day, who understand, who listen, who help me, who help me, and thank you for the fact that there is such a reward. It, in principle, very stimulates to move even further. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, the next winner is Bogdana Neborak. Bogdana always loved reading, but never wanted to be an author. So eventually she fulfilled her passion for literature through working at the Ukrainian Book Institute, which under the Ministry of Culture has been promoting Ukrainian literature abroad since 2016. Bogdana has developed the first state-funded translation program, Translate Ukraine, designed to connect publishers with translators and spread Ukrainian works around the world. Please join us. Uh, good evening. Good evening, thank you. And uh, thank you very much for this kind introduction and to please accept our word. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I will start in English and then I will go on uh, in uh, Ukrainian. And first of all, I really wish to tell that literature and especially Ukrainian literature is really very powerful. And we have a lot of many powerful narratives that we might share worldwide, but also I really wish each Ukrainian read more Ukrainian literature and get acquainted with them. І зараз я говоритиму українською, це мені трохи буде простіше. Дякую ще раз за цю відзнаку. Мені вона надзвичайно важлива, тому що е, вона показує, що вся робота робиться не дарма, хоча такого сумніву врешті немає. І так, я хочу ще раз наголосити, що е, література – це дуже добрий спосіб для того, щоб краще розуміти наше життя і краще розказувати про наше життя, як людям, які поруч із нами, так і людям, котрі за кордоном і хочуть краще розуміти Україну. І, звісно, хочу подякувати всім людям, з якими я працювала за цей час, команді Українського інституту книги, але так само команді Радіоподіл і команді The Ukrainians, з якими нам вдається більше говорити про українську літературу, робити її видимішою і робити читання кращим, видимішим і важливішим заняттям у щоденному житті українців. Дякую вам. Дякуємо, Богдана. Дякуємо вам велике. Um, well, uh, when I read the profile of our next winner, I would like to go back to school. Because um, this is a teacher. His name is Andrei Olejnik. I will... Um, 
uh, say yeah that he is not coming to the uh, to the awards today but he is a primary school teacher in the city of Kamensk in Dnipropetrovsk Oblast and uh, he uses creative techniques to spark children's interest in knowledge. At his lessons, Olenik utilizes Lego sets and animations, sings and even dances with the kids. Oh yeah, uh, for his uh, inventive, uh, innov inventive approach, he recently won the annual National Award Global Teacher Prize in Ukraine in the category The Choice of Ukrainians. And he received over 40,000 votes for the uh, to 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 um, win this award, we have a video uh, recorded by uh, Andrei Olenik. Let's please watch it. Шановні пані та панове, всім привіт. Я Андрій Олінек, вчитель початкових класів з міста Кам'янського. У мене сьогодні є можливість доєднатися до вас ось так в онлайн режимі, тому в першу чергу хочу привітати всіх зі ще одною перемогою та підкореною сходинкою на шляху до успіху. Особисто для мене велика честь знаходитись серед 30 успішних українців за версією Київпост. Для мене це було вкрай несподівано і дуже приємно, тому хочу подякувати тим людям, які номінували мене на цю премію, та всім тим, хто підтримав мою кандидатуру. Дуже приємно, що роботу простого вчителя помішають та відзначають. Це мотивує до нових звершень та ще більш якісної роботи. Та вкотре доводить, що вчителі важливі. Тож всіх вітаю, бажаю всім успіху, міцного здоров'я, наснаги та натхнення. Анастасія Макаренко. Anastasia Makarenko, uh, I will remind you briefly, uh, she is running an NGO, You Cycle. Please, Anastasia, come to the stage. The award is well deserved and it's yours. Uh, thank you very much. Mm. Hello, everybody. Uh, I will continue in Ukrainian. I am very grateful for this award, and it was really surprised. But this is, first of all, the award of our organization, which says for many years, не лише в Києві, а й в українських містах, тепер же в новостворених громадах, просуває велосипед як справжній інструмент для позитивних трансформацій. Власне, наша історія не стільки про сам велосипед, про людиноцентричні міста, і ми працюємо заради того, щоб наші міста наповнювалися новими цінностями, які велосипед дозволяє приносити в наші міста. Це і свобода, і гідність, про і можливість жити в, комфортному, в комфортних, класних містах, де класно дихати, де безпечно, де чудово бути з дітьми, на велосипеді і не тільки. От мені неймовірно приємно вже сім років рухати цю історію разом з нашою організацією. У нас велика спільнота не лише в Києві, по всій Україні. От, і ми переконані, що зміни вже помітні на наших вулицях сьогодні, але це, звісно, тільки початок, і ми переконані, що за певний час наші міста будуть справді велосипедними, дружніми до людей з цим видом транспорту. От. Ну, і нам всім буде набагато класніше в них жити. От. Тому, власне, для мене це неймовірно а, приємно, це такий добрий знак, що ми рухаємося в правильному напрямку, таке зелене світло а, нашій місії і нашій повісті, яку ми приносимо в наші міста сьогодні. Дякуємо. Дякую. Дякуємо, Анастасія. And the next winner is Andrei Prekhodchenko. Andrei is a creative director and co-founder of Represent, including for TEDx Kyiv. During this lockdown imposed by the government in March, which shut down public transport, he helped connect hospital workers who needed a ride to work and volunteers willing to give them a lift. Though not a programmer, he created an app called Kameta, uh, through which nearly 4,000 troops uh, uh, which, which made nearly 4,000 trips to and from hospitals. So, we welcome you to the stage, Andre. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Andre. Thank you. Here is the word. Uh, I want to say a few words uh, to people who make it real, but um, I think they don't understand English, so... I'll speak in Ukrainian. Я вважаю, що ця нагорода насправді не моя, а двох груп людей, які зробили все можливе для того, щоб 
під час карантину ми з вами продовжували жити нормальним життям і могли бути здоровими. Це лікарі, які не маючи змоги дістатись до робочих місць, ризикували своїм життям, своїми грошима, знаходили шляхи, як дістатися до роботи. Інша група людей – це водії, які, не дивлячись на заборони, розуміли, що проблема значно глибша. І, знову ж таки, розуміли, що медики в зоні ризику ризикували своїм життям і підвозили лікарів на роботу. Я вважаю, що саме ці люди – співвласники цієї нагороди. Дякую, що помітили їхній вклад через мене. Ось так. Дякую. Дякуємо вам, дякуємо Андрію. Ми дуже вам вдячні за вашу роботу. Це дійсно в такий нелегкий час і під час пандемії дуже важливо. Дуже... Ми вам Дякую. дуже вдячні. Так. Дякую. 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 Uh, Krylo Beskorovainy is a science enthusiast. Uh, he publishes, publishes Kunst. Uh, Kunst is a, an online pop science magazine and produces educational videos that can be seen in metro and directly in, in uh, intercity trains. He also wrote a book that explains astrophysics to children. Uh, Kirillo, I invite you to the stage and uh, I also invite representative of UNICEF Ukraine, Lota. Thank so much. Okay. Kirill, here is your thank award. you so much. Uh, so I just want to say thanks for, for this award. I, I won't be original uh, as many before me uh, saying that it's a team job. Uh, it's always a team job in every project, in the book, in Kunst Media. It's always uh, a, a great team that stands behind all these achievements, all these small steps. And I'll also say a couple of words in Ukrainian as well. I want to thank all the team of Kunst, which creates constant projects, creates them in the days, in the weekends, in the weekends, in the weekends, in the to the popularization of science, to the popularization of the world in Ukraine, ми розуміємо, що це фундамент усіх інших проєктів, в тому числі, коли ми розуміємо цінність знань, цінність критичного мислення. І ми через такі проєкти, ініціативи надалі будемо продовжувати нести науку в маси. І такі нагороди, вони надихають це робити ще більше, ще активніше і наполегливіше. Тому дуже дякую вам за таку відзнаку, це неймовірно приємно. І знову ж таки, привіт команді Куншт. Якщо ви це дивитеся, це нагорода в тому числі ваша. Дякую so much. Thank you. And we from UNICEF wanted to present you with an extra award because we think that education is so important and you've done something very innovative. So congratulations and please keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Kirillo. Thank you, Lord. Um and we are moving forward. Uh, our next winner is Victoria Repa. Uh, she's uh, not uh, with us today, uh, but um, I'm sure that many people know the project uh, and the product that Victoria, Victoria created and co-founded. Uh, this is the application called Better Me. Uh, and um, this uh, application was downloaded uh, approximately by 80 million people. And uh, according to US analytical company uh, App Any, Better Me was the fastest growing app developer in the health and fitness category in 2019. So, um, yeah, we will send the award to Victoria. Uh, and we'll use her app, right? Uh, of course, that's very <laughs> healthy. I'm sure you you are you uh, no? every, every day. Every, every day. day. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, Misha uh, Rudomsky is our next winner. Okay, Misha is an engineer and entrepreneur who pioneered a new wireless 4G solution for laptops through his startup. It crowdfunded three hundred fifty thousand dollars from customers in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Japan, and beyond. He is also the CEO of startup Space Logistics Ukraine, which is making a new rocket to launch satellites from Ukraine. Misha, congratulations.
Misha, the word is yours. Thank you. Um, I want to be short. I want I want to say that I guess we're cool because we we won it. I won the award and with my team. Um, you cool as Keith Post for you know hosting hosting this event and allowing you know all of us, all the other 29 nominees to be presented here and you know uh, receive this award. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Misha. Uh, and uh, we are moving forward. Uh, our next winner is Danilo Shipov. Uh, he is also not uh, with us uh, this night, uh, but um, we will send the word. If and he has a video. And uh, yeah, he has the video. But let me let me briefly say a couple of words about Danilo Shipov and what uh, he is doing. That and he is doing great things. Uh, he is cardiologist and he is saving children's lives on a daily routine. Having worked at Kyiv Center for Pediatric Cardiology and Cardiac Surgery for six years, he con conducted hundreds of consultations and um, examinations, treating thousands of children with severe heart defects. So let's let's uh, listen to Danilo now. Здравствуйте. Увы, я не могу сегодня присутствовать лично на мероприятии. Мне сегодня, как и многим украинцам, не удалось избежать ковида. Но мое состояние уже намного лучше, я иду на поправку. И хочу пожелать всем присутствующим в зале крепкого здоровья, беречь себя и соблюдать противоэпидемические правила. Для меня это большая честь оказаться в тридцатке больших специалистов и мастеров своего дела. И спасибо за это, за эту возможность редакции Киев Пост. Точно так же я знаю, что мне не удалось бы быть номинантом этой премии, если бы не поддержка моих коллег и администрации нашего центра, Центра детской кардиологии и кардиохирургии МОЗ Украины. Моими э, своими знаниями и опытом я благодарен этим трудолюбивым профессионалам и открытым людям. И все мои достижения сегодняшние и будущие я э, разделяю именно с ними. Также я хочу поблагодарить э, свою семью за ту поддержку и любовь, которая меня сопровождает на каждом шагу моего карьерного пути. Ну и хорошего вечера всем вам. Крепкого здоровья, берегите себя, берегите своих близких. Yeah, and uh, thank you. And uh, we are moving uh, to the, our next winner, and um, uh, this is Yevgen Skripnik. Okay, uh, Yevgen, through techno parties and other cultural initiatives, he changes the image of his native region, the war-torn Donbas. After his hometown was liberated by Ukrainian forces, he launched a series of techno parties, Shum, to provide local youth with entertainment. The party soon attracted partygoers from all over eastern Ukraine. And during the pandemic, uh, he films DJ sets in pic picturesque settings of the Donbas. He also plans to open his own DJ school. Yevgen, congratulations. Я буду говорити українською, бо дивляться мої батьки, а вони її не розуміють. А взагалі це дуже цікаво, що я сюди потрапив, і це дуже незвично і неочікувано. Бо коли я починав робити свій проект майже рік назад, то я не думав, що він стане настільки відомим і великим. І мені здається, це через те, що ми зібрали навколо себе гарних людей, ось, і то, що в нашого проєкту у кожного є своя муза, моя зараз дивиться, посміхається, і дуже дякую Київ Пост за це, ви дуже класні. Дякуємо. Дякуємо, Євген. Успіхів вам в вашій активності. 
Uh, yeah, so um, um, our, our winner is uh, Christina Solovy. Uh, Christina Solovy uh, joined a local TV show, The Voice. Uh, her primary goal was to promote folk songs from the Lemko, an ethical an, an, an ethnic group uh, that originated from the Carpathian Mountains and from which she has roots. But uh, her extraordinary vocals and the show's recognitions paid the way for her future singing career. Today her schedule is packed with performances and her music uh, videos have millions of views on YouTube. Дякую. Буду говорити сьогодні українською, так як відстоюю, відвоюю її. І дякую Київ Пост за те, що відзначаєте молодих, креативних українських лідерів. Дякую за честь бути серед них. Це для мене велика причина, натхнення для того, щоб працювати далі і не втрачати сили і духу в цей непростий час. Дякую, Київ Пост. Христина. So we're down to two winners. Uh, to two winners, but uh, um, uh, we have uh, again. We're going to back again. Uh, to go uh, back. Uh, okay. And uh, we have Yulia Levchenko. Yulia? Yeah. The, the, uh, the word is yours. Thank you very much. Дуже дякую. Дуже неочікувана для мене нагорода. Я думаю, що для кожної людини, особливо для спортсмена, дуже важлива віра та підтримка. Тому ця нагорода дає натхнення рухатись далі і йти до нових перемог. Дякую. Дякуємо, Юлія. Дякуємо за вашу активність. And uh, like we would say in English, like jump even higher. <laughs> yes. Um, congratulations. And our next winner is Zlata Simonenko. Zlata is a criminal defense lawyer and legal expert and uh, part of the reanimation package of reforms, which works on the improvement of the effectiveness of law enforcement and prosecution agencies. She contributed to drafting the laws on the National Police, the State Investigative Bureau, and the National Anti-Corruption Bureau. As a lawyer, she defends large businesses and foreign investors working in Ukraine. Her main focus now is an infamous case of a victim of torture and rape by police in Kyiv Oblast. Congratulations, Zlata. Thank you very much. Here is your award, Zlata. Thank you. And I'm really proud to stay here and to see how many young uh, Ukrainian future leaders, political leaders, uh, change Ukraine and not Ukraine every day. And for me, it's a good motivation to, to be better every day and to find investors for Ukraine more and more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zlata. Thanks, Zlata. And uh, actually, uh, we are ready to uh, announce our finalist, final, our final, uh, final, final winner. winner. Uh, Darina Zevina. She is a star swimmer a swimmer who has collected almost two dozen medals from some of the most prestigious European and world swimming competitions in the backstroke. Uh, among her latest achievements was a silver medal at the European Championship in 2019. Now she is preparing to conquer Tokyo Summer Olympic Games in 2021. Darina, the award is yours. Мне очень приятно находиться здесь, на этой сцене, и быть одной из 30 успешных людей до 30 лет. Эта награда для меня была очень неожиданной. Я очень рада получить ее, и это будет мотивировать меня дальше быть успешной украинкой. Дарина. And uh, um, yeah, I would like to invite our partner UNICEF, uh, representative of UNICEF in Ukraine, to the stage. Lota, please, the, the word is your floor is yours. 
Can you hear something? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Post, for inviting us and being part of, of this event. Um, as UNICEF, an organization that works with uh, children or for children and young people, we really think it's, it's important to celebrate the achievements of young people, and especially now. Um, a quarter of the world's population is, are young. And uh, in, in, uh, uh, you know, in Ukraine, we also have quite a large young population, and they need to be encouraged. They need to know that they are seen and heard. And right now, we're experiencing a world that we would never have imagined. And uh, I think, we think, that young people can actually help us reimagine the world. And I think some of the people who we've seen here today have actually really shown exactly that. And um, we see the, the effects of COVID and we know it's increasingly alarming. And uh, although young people say they're not as infected by uh, the virus, I think in many ways they're more affected by the virus than many others because it's difficult for them to see the future ahead of them and see where this world is going and wh where the opportunities are. So even the more important to celebrate them today. And I think uh, one of our um, awardees today had focused on education. And we know that thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of children in Ukraine today cannot access education because they don't have the means to have a computer, to have Wi-Fi, etc. So there's a big gap that is being created at the moment. So we need to keep an eye on, on, on education and where that's going. And uh, we also need to help uh, young people fight fake news and rumors, and especially around COVID. And they need to know the real truth and what's really going on. And they need to be part of the response. Uh, against COVID, so we can get this, um, the infection rates down, and we can get the healthcare um, system on its feet again. And so um, we're really grateful for the partnership uh, with UNICEF, and um, I hope that we will be able to come back another year. And I just want to say to young people that each action and each, each step is essential in the fight of COVID and your participation is more important than ever. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's it. I, I appreciate Lada for those words and for UNICEF to be our partners. I want to thank again the International Renaissance Foundation and uh, it's a great reminder that this has been a tough year. On a normal year, we'd be in the Hilton Kiev or the Intercontinental having a big party. ceremony, a big party. Many people. <laughs> but we are distanced now and hopefully healthy. And we wish the same for you. This is our winners for this year. And we hope you enjoyed the show. Yes, and I just wanted to add that um, the coverage and the profiles uh, of uh, top 30 under 30 of this year are in our this fresh copy of the Kiev Post that came out today. And uh, the booklets are here at the office, so if somebody wants to order one, please let us know. We will deliver, deliver this booklet to your house, to your office, whenever, whenever you want. And, uh, of course, the profiles will be published on our web page and uh, it is possible to check the all winners from previous years. Uh, and uh, I will remind you that we started this award in 2016, so it's our actually anniversary, it's mini anniversary, it's our fifth ceremony this year. And uh, Fifth anniversary of our 25th year. Yeah, so. actually, yeah, Kyiv Post celebrated 25 years this year and the um, top 30 under 30 celebrates fifth anniversary. Uh, let's stay in touch and um, we will be happy to, to do it next year. Uh, this is very optimistic, very promising award and we are proud of it and uh, see you next year. Thank you and good night. <laughs>